Welcome to the Andy Griffith Show Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, it's kind of difficult, so I'm going to make these short until I get... Um, today, uh, we're going to do one on a, an actor that thought they was going to get fired from the show. Now, let's get started. Now, the Andy Griffith Show may have ended over 50 years ago, but it remains a beloved television comedy to many fans. Now, while Andy Griffith and Don Knotts and Ron Howard remained on the show throughout its eight-year run, one actor believed during her time on the series that she would be fired. Before joining Griffith in 1960, Eleanor Donahue was most familiar to television audiences for her role as Betty Anderson on Father Knows Best. Once the show ended, she uh, was almost immediately hired to play Ellie Walker. Andy's first love interest. Uh, as she told Don Knotts' daughter, Karen, for a recent memoir tied up in knots, my dad and me. I got called Sheldon Leonard's office for a meeting, and they were talking uh, about a new show. They were looking for a woman to play the character of Miss Ellie, but she wasn't called Miss Ellie then. It was a woman who takes over the drugstore for, I think it was her uncle or something. Uh, she remembered the meeting notably because her toddler was with her. Her focus was understandably distracted. I had my little two-year-old son out uh, at her room, and Sheldon's secretary was sort of babysitting, so I was going, oh, how nice, that's interesting, you bet. But actually, I'm listening for squeals and giggles and whatnot, and they said, thanks so much for coming in. The actor, who was in her 20s, was later offered the role and accepted. Other remaining stars from Griffith who spoke with Karen Knotts for a book included Thelma Lou actor Betty Lynn, who died recently, and Maggie Peterson, who played Charlene Darden. The two uh, recalled Donahue's short time on the show. Lynn, the author, wrote, uh, noted that Donahue was quite a bit younger, really, and that was the thing, and she was upset during a period of her life that was difficult. She thought they were going to fire her. They were not going to fire her. Peterson felt that Donahue and Griffith simply didn't really have much of a chemistry. I don't think Andy was very comfortable around women, with sexy women. I think he was very flustered. Donahue had a three-year contract with Griffin, but after just about a dozen episodes, asked to be released from the show. And I'm sorry, these are kind of short, but if you can see my face, you can see. And I got a cold, too, on top of it. I um, appreciate you uh, for watching this. I hope you don't tune out because of this. Um, ask you, if you have not yet, please subscribe. This will get better, I promise. Uh, have a great day. God bless. Don't forget about the uh, trivia question on the, on the Facebook page. And I'll be praying for you. Please pray for me. God bless. <laughs>